I'm glad you're with us. Boy, some big changes for students, parents, faculty, and staff at Oklahoma City Public Schools. And this after what happened last night. The school board unanimously approved a new continuous learning calendar for the entire district. You saw the story last night on News Night at 10. Starting next school year, they will have only two months off for the summer and then go nine-week sessions and have longer winter, spring, and fall breaks. News 9's Adriana Ivashinsky talked with parents and teachers and administrators from one Oklahoma City school that has already moved to this continuous learning calendar. Try to get some insight from them. It's very interesting. It is, Kelly. Horace Mann Elementary School is one of seven schools in the district already using the continuous learning calendar and has been doing so for 16 years. And it appears everyone there loves it. Oh, Siobhan Gully and her sons are already on winter break. Oh, no, no, They're hey. used to the continuous learning calendar. They've been doing it for three years, and Siobhan says it's made a huge impact on the boys' grades. I love it. I love it. Both boys attend Horace Mann Elementary. Like so did their brother, who is now at Belle Isle and on the traditional schedule. Right. Siobhan says he can't wait for the switch. Oh, yeah. he, we were talking about it this morning after we heard the results that they vo voted for it, and he was elated. <laughs> Students at Horace Mann follow a nine-week schedule and get three weeks off for winter break so they already had their holiday parties last Friday they also get two weeks off for spring and fall break and eight weeks off for the summer both parents and teachers alike say they like the continuous education calendar and say it has several advantages it is much easier to get them back up to speed and to continue on where you need to take them I used to have to spend weeks at a time talking about procedures and how we get our books and how we sit and how we go to our locker and how we go to the restroom. And I get to spend one day on that and I can go right into teaching. I mean, immediately. Our evidence and our data suggests that it works for us. Principal Jones says test scores have gone up at Horace Mann. And while students and parents like the longer winter, spring, and fall breaks for vacations, teachers say the shorter summer breaks help the students who speak English as a second language retain English better, too. And with the shortened summer breaks, we come back and the kids are, they haven't lost so much information, and we pretty much just pick up where we left off. The continuous learning calendar schedule is also more conducive to single working parents like Kim Walker. It does work for me. I'm just surprised that um, more districts haven't tried it. Now coming up tonight at 6, we'll have reaction from parents, teachers, and the principal at West Nichols Hills Elementary School, which is one of the schools that will be going to the continuous education calendar next school year. Amanda? We'll look for that, Adriana. Also at 6, we'll give you a better look at exactly how next year's school calendar will change from the current one. 69 Oklahoma City public schools and all will be affected by that change. The district is planning to hold a number of community meetings next semester to educate parents and the community about the switch to the continuous learning.